Hello and welcome to the channel and welcome to Universal Studios Orlando. You know what? I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do today. But you guys submit a lot of video suggestions to me. I checked my spreadsheet and this is what I came up with. But before we begin, we publish theme park videos on this channel all the time. So hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you'll know when another video is ready for you to view. So many of you have asked me what is the best breakfast here at Universal Studios. I'll try to answer that, but more so than that, I'm just going to show you all the options they have here for breakfast. Let's get to it. We're starting over here at Universal Studios. We will talk about City Walk and Islands of Adventure later. But as soon as you walk into Universal Studios, you're going to run across the Today Cafe. Here at the Today Cafe, they serve breakfast. We've got breakfast sandwiches here like egg white Florentine for $9, bagel toast for $9, egg ham and cheese sandwich for $9 as well. And then you can get your Park Avenue avocado toast for $12. They also have a smoked salmon bagel, and that's $14 for that. And then you can get some bowls. They have overnight oats for $7, ASEA bowls for $11, and fruit bowls for $4.49. And then of course they do have pastries available, danishes, croissants, cruffins, and those are gonna be around $3.50 and they have muffins and cupcakes for five dollars the thing is with the menu options here at the today cafe i consider them to be elevated they've elevated the breakfast sandwich here and the toast and the bagel all sort of elevated dishes a nice treat for your palate if you will and then the other thing good about uh, the today cafe if you do not have early park admission and they're having early park admission over here at universal studios you can get through the gates, hang out at the Today Cafe, have your breakfast before they open the park up to regular guests. And I would like to point out that Today Cafe has all day breakfast. Get it any time of the day you want. Now here in the New York section of the park, across the street from Louis Pizza, you have your Starbucks coffee. Yes, they do have breakfast. It is your typical Starbucks breakfast that I believe you can find in your neck of the woods so i'm not going to go into detail on the menu but it is a spot if you're in the mood for breakfast in new york city okay for our next breakfast spot let's head into san francisco specifically i am talking about the san francisco pastry company where you can get breakfast until 11 a.m more on that later there is a caveat with the information i'm about to give you right now their breakfast sandwiches include bacon, egg, and cheese croissants for $7.49. Ham, egg, and cheese croissant, again, for $7.49. And, of course, various pastries, such as croissants, danishes, turnovers, muffins, pies, tarts. So here is the caveat with the San Francisco Pastry Company. I'm filming this in October of 2020. So if you're coming in 2020, most likely, it will not be reopened yet from the pandemic. If you're watching this video in the future, 2021 and beyond, hopefully it is open and you can get your standard breakfast there, like your breakfast sandwiches there at the San Francisco Pastry Company. But if you're here in 2020, like a lot of things, we're just out of luck. Into Diagon Alley we go for perhaps the most popular spot for breakfast here at Universal Studios. And that place would be the Leaky Cauldron. Now this is the spot most people, when they think of breakfast at Universal Studios, this is sort of like their number one thing they think of. We have breakfast at the Leaky Cauldron until 10.30. So we're talking a traditional breakfast, scrambled eggs, sausage, black pudding, English bacon, baked beans, uh, sauteed mushrooms and potatoes. So that's what they're calling a traditional breakfast and that would be $17.99. A pancake breakfast, again $17.99. An American breakfast, $17.99. So this is more like your American style of the traditional scrambled eggs, breakfast potatoes, bacon and sausage and a butter croissant. 
And then they have things like an apple oatmeal flan with yogurt, again, $17.99. Egg, leek, and mushroom pastry, $17.99. The kids' breakfast is $12.99. And that case you would choose from their traditional, their pancake, or their American breakfasts. And then you can get some things a la carte, bacon, blood sausage, English bacon, scrambled eggs, a side of roast potatoes, ranging from $2 to $5. Okay, so you heard the prices. I'm not gonna lie to you, that seems a bit pricey. You're talking like 17, 18 bucks for like a breakfast. You're gonna get for like five or six dollars over at Denny's. So that's the only knock I have on the Leaky Cauldron breakfast. I mean, it's a fun atmosphere and everything, but ooh, talk about some theme park pricing. You know, since we're talking about breakfast, what is more breakfast than having orange juice? We're over here in the Wizarding World at the Hopping Pot. You can get Otter's Fizzy Orange Juice. I do recommend that, give it a shot. Personally, I live my life that you can have a donut any damn time of the day you want. But traditionally, I think we can consider donuts to be a breakfast item. You can get them over here in Springfield, the area for the Simpsons, at Lard Lad Donuts. The big pink donut is $7.99. Donuts themselves, $3.59, or four pack for 12 bucks. Get an apple fritter, recommended by Nikki, for $6.39. Well, believe it or not, that is pretty much all the places in studios where you can get a breakfast. If I forgot anything, check the comment section. I'm sure people will let me know I forgot something. But uh, we're not ending here. I'm going to walk over to City Walk and over to Islands of Adventure, let you know the other breakfast offerings. Some of you will enjoy a commercial right now. Others, come straight along with me. We're out of Universal into City Walk. But let's stick with donuts. Let's tell you you can have breakfast at Voodoo Donuts. So this is the place they have tons of fancy donuts, tons of crazy donuts. I personally just go with a glazed donut. Nikki likes the maple bacon bar. My daughter Caitlin really likes the grape ape. My other daughter, she's just like me, just a regular glazed donut, which is gonna be $1.60. And then the pricing goes up from there. Your craziest one is about double that price. Right around three bucks, I think, is gonna be your most expensive donut here. And then, of course, you can buy things by the box or by the coffin. And it just doesn't have to be breakfast. Take a box home or your hotel room. Also, here at City Walk, you have your classic Cinnabon. I think anything uh, they have here, they're gonna have at your neighborhood Cinnabon. Personally, I've never had the Cinnabon here. I have, however, taken a picture on the surfboard like I'm doing right now. Now this is what I typically do, is after I get off the moving walkway, over to your left, you see Bubba Gumps. Right next to Bubba Gumps, another Starbucks. Often before I start my day vlogging, I'll go in here, grab a little breakfast item, and then head into the parks. Okay guys, you see this little Coke stand here? Kind of across from Cowfish. They also have breakfast. They have breakfast burritos and like breakfast sandwich uh, in a bagel form. So, and I think that's from eight to 11. You can get breakfast here at this little Coke Hut. Pretty much that is it for City Walk for breakfast. Let's head into Islands of Adventure. Yes, the adventure begins and the hunt begins to find breakfast at IOA. There's not a lot here. I'm gonna warn you ahead of time. And the Crescent Moon Bakery will demonstrate how tough it's going to be to find a breakfast in here. There are hours since the park has reopened. I think they're only open on the weekends now. And I think they only open at 11. So I would recommend some croissants and danishes here. And some muffins. Uh, that'd be between $2.79 and $3.49. But you never know when this place is going to be open uh, for breakfast now. I'll tell you what you can count on for breakfast here at Islands of Adventure. It won't let you down. As you go through the port of entry, you make a left towards Marvel Island, kind of towards the Hulk. You will have the Starbucks, which we've already gone over that menu. It's your basic Starbucks breakfast. Also next to Starbucks, you will have another Cinnabon, just like the one there in City Walk. 
So here's one that's a little tricky, but I'm desperate for breakfast places here at Islands of Adventure. So I'm gonna mention green eggs and ham. Now, typically they will not be open during breakfast hours. The earliest they're gonna open is be like 11, 11.30. But what they serve here, I would consider breakfast food, green eggs and ham, and tater tots sort of dominate the menu. So, I guess we can call this a brunch place. A little breakfast, a little lunch. The pricing will be about $10 per entree unless you get the hoo hash, which will be $15, but that does come with like a souvenir like mug. Well guys, that is it. I told you there's not a lot of breakfast here at Islands of Adventure, but if I miss something here, or if I miss something in the other two areas, studios or city walk, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what I missed if I missed something. If not, just let me know your favorite breakfast spot here at Universal Studios. And with all that being said and done, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks. And now it is time to relax.